Good afternoon, Mama G's class. So today we're going to be talking about the alien slash missile sighting in uh, Los Angeles slash Orange County. And so basically it happened on November 7th around 6 p.m. or like sunset-ish. And right after it started trending, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department tweeted, hashtag traffic alert, military exercises off the Catalina Island. Light and lasers can be seen from beach and clothesline. No, ugh, sorry, no need to call 911. So what do you guys think like they're tweeting about or what do you think like, why are they tweeting this? Uh, I, don't, I don't, I think they don't want the public to be um, concerned about it. It's just a, just a naval missile. Um, you know how, you know how the social media can make something, it can exaggerate it to make something worse. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I, I don't think I they mean, want to scare the people. It was like, literally, it was literally everywhere. Cause I mean, that's something you don't see that every single day. Yeah. So people were freaking out about it, you know? Um, Keep going. And then soon after that, the Orange County Sheriff's Department tweeted hashtag OCSP, OCSDPIO, light seen in Orange County sky was confirmed through the JWA tower to be a naval test fire off the coast. No further details. So they pretty, post pretty sketchy tweet, huh? Yeah. No further no details. No further details. I mean, see, then I think they kind of tweeted at fault where they were like, oh no, like let's put no further details. And then that's when people started to think like <gasps> Are we trying to hide yeah, something? Yeah, it, like, it makes them skeptical. Exactly. Skeptical mm -hmm. And so, yeah. that's when people start tweeting all this stuff and making it a bigger deal than it is, and that's why the sheriff's department's tweeted, don't call 911, there's no need. Like, but, yeah, yeah. you know what made it bigger was that literally a day after that, um, I think it was Sarah Bergs or someone on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. yeah, she said that she found like this mysterious creatures so can you give us some information about that yeah um so sarah burks tweeted on facebook that she found an alien or uh a like, premature cow or something yeah so she uh tweet or posted on facebook she said yeah this was in our yard it is not an alien i'm pretty sure it's a baby deformed cow it's crazy these stories can be made up and it's not and it's that people can steal your stuff and use it that makes me mad. But it shows how arrogant people can be for a little bit of fame. And then right. a couple <clears> of <throat> minutes prior to that, she tweeted, or after, I forgot. Um, she tweeted, I'm trying to figure out how to report this lady for copyright. And I don't know it's worth it. The news contacted us when we posted it. Because as soon as she went onto Facebook, um, people just started jumping to Yeah, yeah. They started stealing the picture. They said, oh, this is from the Orange County lighting and basically this is an alien and we found aliens and yeah, all that. Yeah, I, I think it would be pretty much a yeah. disaster if that had gone viral because even though it did, gone vi it did go viral, that if the news had shown it, shown the picture on, the, um, on TV, it would have made... Uh, but you know what's pretty crazy is that social, this hasn't been a problem like this, this has been a problem for a really long time. Yeah, like exaggeration. It goes way back in our history. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to give us some? Um, yeah. Here? So, um, I believe in 1921. Ugh, see, I don't really know details about it, but um, there's a thing called yellow journalism, and basically, um, the owner of a news company um, started an actual practically World War One. he started a war between America and the Spanish. Spanish yeah. mm -hmm. And so what he did is, he basically created a controversy like how we are now, and he said, oh, the Spanish bombed a ship in, um, I believe it was Missouri. Which they really didn't. Exactly. But, yeah. And so he said, oh, the Spanish is doing this, the Spanish is doing that. And so people went to the president and said, oh, we need to go to war, which he didn't want to go to war at first. Yeah. But since he, uh, the man, like published this like since, false yeah since he said that he started like that little flare like that yeah that it ignited it ignited the war uh, yeah and it's it, it went like because you know as soon as as soon as you get like um bombed or like attacked yeah you, yeah you want to go for that revenge and of course yeah yeah and so i mean so that's basically what we were talking about today um, our whole topic is about making things bigger than they are and when you truly don't need to. So this has been a huge like issue throughout all of our society and like our whole history and time from yellow journalism to a couple weeks ago with the alien slash missile sighting. And yes, it was confirmed 
a missile sighting, so there's no need to worry about aliens and stuff. Yeah, don't but, go crazy. <laughs> don't go stealing pic uh, people's pictures and say, oh, this is an alien, um, we're about to die, and basically the world's gonna end. Yeah. Don't go crazy. Stay safe, guys. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, um, that's about it. But just remember, don't go to conclusions. Bye, guys. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Daniel Blanco. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Fuck yeah. <laughs>